The first recipe that we're going to do right now, brown butter coconut cashew blondies. The pan is a typical brownie pan, but these are blondies, uh, no chocolate. And uh, the way I prepare the pan is to butter the pan first, totally, then line it with parchment, a piece going this way and a piece going this way, and it sticks nicely to the pan. And I use these binder clips. Do you use that technique? No, no. Well, they're oven proof, and if you're gonna cook in convection, it holds the uh, paper from blowing all over the place. But preparing pans like this helps you extricate the blondies from the pan easily. Now the recipe calls for browned melted butter, and I better check this. I will pour this hot butter right into a mixing bowl, large enough to hold all the ingredients, because this is the bowl. The depth of flavor from brown butter adds a nuttiness, and that's all the milk solids in the butter that are browned. What would you do if you burned your butter? I put it through either a sieve, a very, very fine sieve, to take away the brown bits, or I put it through a coffee filter, and it just drips right through, if it's really bad. <laughs> Don't throw the butter away, because the uh, butter itself is not really burnt. It's just the milk solid bits that are burnt. Once you butter, then you flour lightly. And you would never leave it like that because you would get all kinds of spots. So you have to shake the pan, covering the entire buttered surface with a light film of flour. See, all done. Excellent. So we have our browned butter, one and a quarter cups. You can see the brown bits in there, but they're not black. If they're black, strain. A half a cup of sugar will help cool the butter and it will also help melt the sugar. And now to this, we add two cups of light brown sugar, which adds another caramelly flavor. And I keep an apple in my brown sugar. Do you do that? No, no. I've never oh. seen that. Well, you know how it becomes very, very solid and dry, so uh, an apple keeps it moist. And I understand that marshmallows do the same thing. Why do you use light and sun sugar instead of dark? Uh, dark brown, just a little too strong a flavor for this particular okay. dessert. So two cups packed, and this too can get stirred in. You can use a stiff spatula to do this, or a wooden spoon. It really absorbs all the butter. And it smells great. I'm gonna add the vanilla, two and a half teaspoons of vanilla. That's quite a bit of vanilla but blondies are vanilla, not chocolate. So Martha, do you have a favorite dessert? I know it's a hard question. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I actually really do have a favorite dessert and it's anything lemon. Okay. Mm. Citrus is one of my favorite, favorite flavors. So lemon meringue pie, mm. or lemon tart, I love. And we're going to add three large eggs and stir them in. Are those eggs from your farm? They are. Oh. So that's good. And add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. If you find that any of your dry ingredients have lumps, you can just, of course, sift it right over the top of the mixture. And one and a half teaspoons of salt. And now the flour. So two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. So we use always uh, unbleached flour for basic baking. What about have you? Have you ever made them whole wheat before? Uh, I haven't done these whole wheat, no. I think it might be a little heavy. And just think, you haven't dirtied a mixer, you haven't dirtied beaters, and you've used your muscles. <laughs> so they're scraping down the sides. So you see the batter is very nice. Add your cup of cashews. These are lightly toasted. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> and the coconut, toasted coconut and it, two cups of sweetened coconut. There's all kinds of coconut. Coconut flakes, shredded coconut like this. This has been lightly toasted in the oven. Be careful when you're toasting because it <laughs> burns quickly. I forgot about that have you a for, lot of times. Have you done that? Oh, not good. And stir this up. Mm, this adds such a nice crunchiness. Okay, so this can be put right into your pan. Sticky. It's so easy. How many minutes did that take? So fast. Hardly yeah. any time at all. So if you have friends who are craving a sweet dessert, this is a nice mm -hmm. thing to put in the oven. And you can spread this with a little spatula to an even layer. 
Oh, your oven, did I say, preheated to 350 degrees, please. And this is going to get that shiny, crinkly top that you always want on the top of brownies or blondies. Okay, right into the oven, set your timer for 35 minutes. So now it's time to unmold the beautiful blondies and cut these into whatever size squares you really like. And I'm using a serrated knife. These serrated knives are so fantastic. And then hmm, I think this has to go into thirds. And it smells so good. You can smell that brown butter. Now, in a restaurant, you might even trim the edges off. Edges off. But at home, you don't have to do that. I love the corners, right. so. You like the corners? Yeah. Oh. Because you get the chewy in the middle and the crunchy on the outside. Oh, like well. the best of both best worlds. <laughs> <laughs> so these little blondies, because of high sugar content, will last quite a while. Would you like to try one? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Here, just help yourselves. So what do you think? So yeah, good. Really Rich good. and yeah. buttery like and I like the cashews. Cashew. Yeah. yeah. Cashewy. Yeah. Good. Well, enjoy. Cake. This recipe will certainly become one of your family's favorites. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.